Hello, hello, welcome to the video. So in this one, I want to talk about something that I don't usually talk on this channel, and that is a diesel engine gauge or RPM meter. Uh, I want to talk about shifting on manual cars. If you have a diesel engine, uh, since I do drive a diesel engine car, uh, I drive Fiat Stilo, uh, that has a um, JTD engine and uh, idling speed or yeah idling speed or RPM is a thousand RPM so it will be idling speed will be here so when I shift up I usually rev or press the gas pedal until it goes somewhere around a th 2000 or a thousand more so I usually shift at uh, 2000 RPM on a diesel car. I also have a Fiat Punto JTD, the same, pretty much the same engine, 1.9 liter. And um, I also rev it, or it also has an idling speed at 1000 RPM. So I do shift up about 2000. So basically this is not a um, speedometer or RPM either. Uh, for that car. This is just something I found on internet just to want to show you So if you drive also diesel car, don't look at the like what's the max or something like that. It usually has like a Red line here. This is like the max and it usually the last section is like red So if you have idling state here, usually it's like here maybe for you it would be a 10 here or a thousand here so I would say wait until it goes like double that idling and shift then you will usually get used to shift up or shift down uh, or shift up when um, you get used to the sound or when you're comfortable on the on the speed and you have enough acceleration so before shifting up, I usually accelerate a little bit, and then I, you know, because it's a manual, uh, then I shift, and it usually drops a little bit uh, when when it catches the uh, second gear or another gear. So then it again I accelerate more, so it goes back to to that. Uh, in my case, two thousand. So, uh, long story short, if you drive diesel manual car and you have like an idling speed or about a thousand rpm i usually shift up around 2000 rpm and i don't really uh, have a better advice but i think this is very good uh, good advice for shifting up it's um it's not too loud car is not too loud at that speed and it has enough uh, force enough pulling power at that um, RPM so you can be very comfortable even if you're in a steep slope up or down uh, you can pretty you have pretty good control over a car so you don't uh, have to worry about too much you just you know look at the uh, this uh, arrow whatever it is and it shows here 2000 and just shift up and you're good to go just don't worry you don't have to press the accelerometer or the gas pedal so you stick here because when you press on clutch it will if you also press on uh, the gas pedal it will rev up because you don't have a connection between your uh, differential and engine so just don't don't do that so when you get 2000 and by the way i made this video just because i find that many people struggle with this because i hear people when they drive diesel cars uh, very different sounds when they shift especially on uh, on straights up like um, up hills i hear very very often people rev car about 3000 rpm <laughs> and uh, then they shift and that's very loud you can hear a pulling power but uh, the thing is 
you don't have to do that just uh, stick with lower maybe a little more than 2000 if you're really steep hill but it's, it's enough even though it's diesel engine it doesn't have much rpm it will be enough power usually diesel engines have more uh, liters or a bigger volume so they will have enough uh, gas in the engine to with smaller rpm to have uh, enough force to 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 move but you'll feel that if you have like um uh, if you drive a little bit and you shift a few times you will get used to what's your comfortable uh, rpm to shift up but for me it's like double on the idling uh, if it's idling at thousand you get two thousand to shift up so no brainer there there you go <laughs> I don't know why I made this video, to be honest, but just, uh, just kind of wanted to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching.